So we're here at, uh, at, with Adapt Microsys here at Arm TechCon. So who are you? Uh, who am I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Kyu Jung. Uh, I'm founder and CTO of this Adapt Microsys. Uh, we have a unique technologies, uh, which is hardware and software core technology that uh, boost up uh, any CPU performance uh, is dramatically and also uh, uh, power uh, drop so you can get you know the uh, performance enhancement and power efficiency at the same time. Uh, for instance, we recently uh, have done our test with our memory system as on hardware and we have a software product as backend software compiler that actually uh, recompile what uh, you know is uh, generated by other guys compiler like uh, ARMCC or GCC v4 and then that code run through our memory system we deliver yeah, all this ARM instruction to the ARM core uh, fast and on time and also accurately so CPU doesn't need to wait or bring you know, the uh, unnecessary instruction that actually kill this, the hardware space and energy wasting. So we get rid of those kind of things. Uh, so this could help uh, if our uh, evaluation is uh, good enough, then reduce you know, the, uh, up to half of uh, ARM core being using in your SOC. And software compile, uh, compatibility is always uh, guaranteed because our compiler is the, uh, very low end. So uh, any any you know the executable code you have it, and that's our input for our compiler. So what we uh, generated and that actually fit for our memory system. But anyhow, ARM core just received what you can understand, which is ARM instructions. So right. where, where is your technology? Is it to create the apps? You compile the apps that just run on any device? Or is it, where, where, do, where is your solution? Where is this technology? Where do you put it in the system? Is it? Uh, I, don't, I don't understand what you asked. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. the product that you do. Is it software solution? No, it's actually a uh, software and hardware solution. You must have our memory system in the chip. So simply says, replaced existing memory system, especially instruction memory system, replaced with ours. And then that chip in, for instance, smartphone or tablet, and you know, the application and all this uh, binary code is actually run through the uh, ARM core, that must be recompiled with ours. And that is actually running through our memory system and ARM CPU, you know, still get, you know, run faster. And if, for instance, if you get rid of, you know, one or two uh, CPU core from, you know, the uh, dual or code core uh, chip, then, you know, still, uh, I'm not talking about how much you can save the power, right? So the memory system that you want to replace, what is that? today and uh, how is yours different uh, today is I mean traditionally we have a very sophisticated uh, cache memory to get rid of uh, gap between fast running CPU and large and slow memory system we fix that mismatch okay and also there is a mismatch between software and hardware so software is, is create you know some uh, kind of complicated passive in maze. Okay, that's the nature of software. It's called code fraction. There is a very high code fraction. Our compiler, you know, to fix that you know the code fraction uh, for ARM case about 2.5 times, and. Um, that actually gave you know the uh, uh, standard. Uh, it's called uh, uh, instruction per branch. So uh, what we tested it in RMCC, it's about 15 instruction in every you know the, uh, between branches. In ours, it's increased uh, 
almost you know, three, 37 instructions per grant. So that actually, you know, the uh, uh, straight, you know, more. Uh, so for CPU get run, you know, the uh, through this path, the, you know, the uh, straight path. So that's the, you know, the why we got the, you know, the uh, performance enhancement. And uh, another one is our memory system. Wired up with big is a way yeah. so to that deliver that, that instruction accurately and on time in a fast manner. And our memory is simple, small, but fast. Cheaper? Obviously. Obviously? Yep. So is it is it what's called the L2 cache area or? No, no, no. We have, you know, L1, L2, but, you know, like uh, M series, uh, it doesn't require, you know, the L2. but. Cache size, if you compare the cache size, what uh, typically using it uh, to uh, what we offer is at least eight times and eight times in L1 and about up to 16 times smaller in L2 cache. So, obviously, that's why I say small. So, um, are you talking with chip makers? Is that what you do? You talk with CPU makers, or I where mean, is your business? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> any SOC vendor right, or any uh, CPU core vendor like ARM. Yeah, and our memory system is completely independent, you know, the, uh, uh, the CPU vendor. But compiler, which always we can retarget for ARM instruction or x86 or any other, you know, embedded uh, instruction set from other company like uh, Freescale or uh, some other like uh, some other companies. And if this actually technology adopted some company uh, which doesn't have their own CPU but they have a mass product for this smart connected device such as smartphone or tablet, they can using our technology can help they can using their own CPU to sell their product. Are you talking about Apple? Uh, yeah, but uh, so, yep. uh, so what are they saying uh, about, what is ARM saying about your solution? Uh, I didn't actually talk to the uh, uh, people of ARM yet. But, so is know, that what you're yeah. doing here, uh, ARM TechCon? Uh, there is there's another reason, but you know, see, uh, if I have a chance, I mean, yeah? I'm going to ask here? about it. What else are you doing here? Uh, that's a secret. Secret? <laughs> All right. Okay, I think that's enough for me.